What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen back again for another other playing video and for today it's time to showcase another team that can do 1.3 million plus damage to the guild raid boss and this time I'm gonna be showcasing a mono water team. So the team composition looks like this. Veronica on the far left side, Laplace, Beth, and Ring. This team is really really good for uh, doing some high score in this battle. And as you can see, these are the available gears that I pick. Uh, this one, team restriction, uh, only water heroes on the team, 65% uh, multiplier. Uh, this one reduces the speed of the boss monster, so minus 70%, because you really don't want the boss to be moving that fast. Uh, and this one, the adds, uh, some buffs to the adds, and then the increase the boss attack. And this one uh, will be burn. And then additional enrage at 70%. This one is really important in this uh, type of team composition. I will explain later why this one is really important. And also another, uh, this one priority when boss ones are dual attacks. This one, ultimate skill by one turn reduces cooldown. And then this one reduces chain points by minus six at the end of a boss monster's turn. The main idea for this team composition is very similar to my D-Stella run where you need to spam chain skills because Laplace chain skills can also deal some HP cut. Slightly lower than D-Stella is but it's still really really powerful. Uh, D-Stella can do 10% HP cut on her chain skill while Laplace can do 8% HP cut on her chain skill which is really really powerful. Uh, Peak's damage is really powerful in guild raids. Not only in the main uh, guild raid boss, but also in the previous uh, Gias bosses. They are really, really powerful. And that is why Laplace is a really broken character in uh, PBE guild raids. That is why I braided her as SSR alongside with Beth. Beth is also really, really powerful. That is why she is also here in the team. Beth can do also some uh, fixed damage. Uh, if you are not familiar with uh, uh, Beth, uh, her S3 can inflict bleed. As long as you have uh, a decent amount of effectiveness, you will be able to proc the bleed debuff. And then once you proc the bleed debuff, once she, once she attacks with her normal attack, she will deal 3% max, max health picks damage. Uh, since the boss has 200k uh, HP, Beth will deal a, an additional of 6,000 damage per normal hits. And the way you should be building bet in this type of uh, fight is to be really, really fast. Uh, does not matter if she does not have any critical rate, critical, uh, critical damage or attack, attack stats. What matters is effectiveness and speed. That is how you should build your bet uh, in this uh, type of formation. Uh, the current equipment that I'm wearing now is not the one that I use in my, uh, in my run. In the showcase run but you will see the equipment loadout in the preview in the at the end of the video at the end of the showcase you will see my bet stats there uh, because this one is i i've been using i've been trying to experiment with bet on pb and also in pvp that's why i have her uh, like this now the most important equipment for this type of team loadout are the talisman the one that can generate you lots of cp points now Parin, this one is not the best uh, talisman. Uh, the one I've been using Parin is the... Let us go to the... This is not the one that I've been using. Because these are already uh, built for PvP. I've already made my runs. Uh, the best uh, talisman Parin is the one that can generate this one, the Rogue's Charm. Uh, recovers 10 chain points when an attack scores a critical hit because Rin will always do critical hit damage in my run this one is really really powerful in CP generation 10 CP per critical hit and Rin is also built for speed take note all of the characters are built for speed except for Veronica I think my Veronica was built with uh, critical damage there in the showcase run you will see it in the at the end of the, the showcase all of my equipment loadouts 
for that fight. Uh, the, the other important uh, items that you should be equipping to your characters, like especially Beth, since Beth will not be a... Uh, it does not matter uh, the attack, critical hit, critical chance. The only thing that matters around Beth is speed, effectiveness, and this talisman. Uh, recovers 9 chain points when attacking a target that has, that has an enraged. You will come to a point where the boss will get enraged at 70% HP, the one with the other Gias selected. So when the boss enraged at 70%, you will be gaining lots and lots of chain points. Especially for characters that does not have any critical rate stats like Beth, Laplace, and also Veronica. Uh, those heroes need this type of talisman. The, uh, the Executioner's Charm. Uh, it will net you a lot of chain points uh, once the boss uh, enraged at 70%. And you will be able to spam your chain skills. And that is, that is the main uh, idea for that team building. For you to be able to beat the boss. And I think that's all the explanation that I can give you with those uh, team formation. Now let's go to the battle showcase. そろそろ授業を始めますわ。授業の
遠慮せずかかってこいはあおっさんのようですわねよろしい行きましょう虚空にて溺れなさい限界が近いようですこの魂につなげこうやこうはいけないよまだまだだこちらだ問題者が困りますよそこで反省のせいのようですよね水よ私の出番だなこれはどうかなビクトリアそこか限界が近いようですこの魂につなげこうやこうはいけないよ待てまだ終わっていないこちらだ補修確定あなたは赤点ですね限界が近いようですレイザーを行うこの刀キャの群れをも恐れずベンチャーの番だよヒヒベンチャー行くよヒヒフフちょっとちょっと出来上がりピンチのようですわね水よさてどうするかこれはどうかなビクトリアさまよう魂を正しき場所へと導く。And I think that's it for me for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time. Peace.